Hey guys, quick update. I've been working on uh, IVGs for the new run of the ICS kits. Uh, these are going to be hopefully a lot better than the last run. Uh, I didn't really like the way the IVGs ended up, so I'm going to change that around a little bit. Anyhow, uh, the shop's a real big mess, but today uh, we're not talking about IVGs. We're actually going to be talking about this. Uh, I guess it's a result of the IVGs, but as, because I've been making about a hundred of these guys, uh, it takes about two minutes to uh, takes about two minutes to to uh, make one, and that's just long enough to wander over to the mill and uh, get a train of thought going, and then as soon as you get a train of thought going, before you can actually get anything done. The mill is over here, or the lathe is over here waiting for you to uh, push out the stock for another part. So that got really tiresome really quick. Uh, so what I wanted to do was try to automate this process a little bit. And uh, shout out to Gmade CNC on YouTube. Uh, I actually just bought all the components that he recommended in his video and uh, moved them around a little bit. But uh, this basically just took me one afternoon to do. But I added an airline, I spliced in an airline, and went all the way around the shop, down behind the, seat, the lathe, way back over to here. Whoop, let me get around, around here. Uh, added the airline all the way down around, and went into this conglomeration. And what this is, is a filter regulator and a 110 volt solenoid. Uh, the Tormach already has a closer plug in the back which outputs 110 volts uh, on a relay that's controlled by the computer. So all you have to do is make the rest of this and it works. Uh, so we've got like a 2 inch diameter pancake, so, uh, pancake uh, air cylinder back here. Uh, I also added much bigger lines than they use on, on G made CNC site. Uh, these are quarter inch OD, eighth inch ID hoses. And you can't see it, but maybe you can see it. Yeah, see those little brass things? Those are quick exhaust valves from Clippard. Uh, and what that does is releases the pressure from one side of the cylinder to the other a lot faster. And that makes the uh, movement a lot more snappy, as you're going to see. Uh, so, yeah, this basically took me an afternoon to do. And Probably it'll take me a day to clean up the mess that I just made, but anyhow, you want to see how this thing works. So, if you have a Tormach slant bed lathe, you probably noticed this button right here. Call it open closed, and if you click it without it, without anything on there, it should you should hear a relay click in the electrical cabinet. Uh, so basically, what I did was just tapped into that relay. And you can hear that open and close the actual bar. So we're going to click it and you're going to see what happens. So you can see that's a little bit faster than uh, G made CNC's uh, closer. And I actually can probably put a little bit more pressure on here because it slams a little bit harder. And it also slams open a little bit harder, which makes, uh, which makes pulling the bar stock a little bit more reliable. Now, I haven't uh, got the bar puller exactly figured out yet, but that will be coming. So for right now, I'm just going to be, I just have to feed the stock in and make sure it, you know, feeds in. But So it's not fully automated, but we're working on it. Uh, the other thing that I, I took his recommendation on was I kind of die grinded down this, uh, this part, part of the closer right here, the stock closer. So that whenever you close the car or have the call it open, like when you're loading stock, you can still spin this freely. It's not actually touching anything. Uh, oh, and I also added a valve down there at the bottom where the air comes in so that I can shut this system off externally if I need to. Say I'm doing one or two parts and I don't need this to be need this to be on or I don't want to program it in. I can just uh reach down here and close this valve 
and cycle it once or twice. And you see the pressure kind of goes away. And now I can activate the uh, system manually. Uh, so we'll turn the air back on. Okay. Now I get the IVG program set up and I put a uh, open close cycle into the program already. So we'll leave it, start it closed. That's how we want to start. And we're just going to hit cycle start and we'll see what happens. Uh, we got this looped uh, pro this we got this program looped with some variables and such in there uh, so that we can easily change our number of loops and stuff like that how much stock we want to face off uh, anyhow let's uh, let's hit go and see what happens you have to excuse the window this is uh, I haven't cleaned it in a while like I said I've been making parts So it's going to move to the stock uh, load position uh, and I'm going to take my little bar, my trusty little bar and just push this in until this registers against the end of the tool. And that's all I need to do. I don't need to close anything. I can't forget or walk away and not have it work. And there we go. We're making an IVG blank. So anyhow, I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make some kind of uh, tooling block that uh, I can bolt onto the rest of the slide down here so that my bar puller can be down here and out of the way uh, so that I can use all the turrets, use all the turret positions and then move to a stock change position and pull it out that way uh, but I don't know I haven't figured that out quite yet but I'm sure it'll be coming uh, so yeah that's what I've been up to here uh, making parts making uh, IVG or internal caulking kit parts uh, right now the only part I got left to make uh, is to finish up the IVGs and uh, I also have the actual hammer part to make the uh, the rear section is is out getting blacked right now so but yeah we're uh, we're gonna be running a brass hammer this time around and instead of a stainless steel one uh, the brass is actually a little bit heavier so you're gonna have a little bit more mass to your hammer and it's uh, honestly a little bit easier for me to, t to work with the tap and everything and it's going to probably look better with the uh, little black se black back section. Uh, so lots of improvements coming on these things here. And uh, I'll try to keep you guys a little bit more updated. I know it seems like I've been gone a while. But I've just been uh, adjusting to my new schedule. Alright guys. Well, thanks for watching. And I think we're just about ready for a tool change. So there we go ready for another one now when this bar is all the way out or out or longer you don't have to use this but anyhow just cycle start again so I'm one step uh, one step closer to a fully automated turning center here and uh, making my life a lot easier and making parts a lot faster Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.